As we all know, racism towards white people is for some reason seen as being socially acceptable today, when it absolutely should not be. It genuinely disturbs me that white people are just open targets for all other groups of people to attack and be racist towards. And you know, the new liberal definition of racism says that you can't be racist to white people. If you want me to be completely honest with you, white people experience more racism in America today than any other group of people. I believe that firmly and I, I'll stand on that. But you know, it's always overlooked. It's not just overlooked. People celebrate racism towards white people. People applaud you when you're racist to a white person. If you say something that can even sort of be interpreted as even kind of being racist to any other group of people, you're canceled. But I mean, you can just stand up in the middle of the street and say, I hate white people or say something even worse than that. And you'll be applauded for standing up to bigots and diversifying America somehow. This is one of those topics I can actually talk about for an extremely long time. I could probably go on an hour tangent with all types of statistics and examples of how white people experience more racism in America today than any other group of people. I really can, but I'm not going to because this is a reaction video. And I'm going to be reacting to a video of a TikToker, a black TikToker, who is, finds it extremely funny. I mean, he is hysterical dying laughing at all of these different racist nicknames that the people in his comment section on his video came up for came up with for white people so our society has made racism towards white people so acceptable that you can go on social media along with thousands of other people and as a collective you can come up with racial slurs and offensive names to call white people and just laugh at it and nothing will happen to your account you won't be silenced, you won't be canceled, you won't be banned because it's acceptable. Anyways, take a look at this racist TikToker. No purpose, flower. <laughs> Transparent mongoose. <laughs> Untitled document. <laughs> Daylight mode. No seasoning seagull. <laughs> Corn starch crusaders. <laughs> Somebody said Jeffrey Star. <laughs> Dandruff attack. <laughs> Parchment paper. Oh, they were too creative with them. Well, here on TikTok, you have a trend that thousands of people are participating in. And the trend is name three racial slurs for white people. And so they're all just casually being racist in the comments. And the creator of the video is just dying laughing at these racist comments. Racism is only funny in our society when it's directed at white people. In the comments naming white slurs there were white people participating in this trend because white people have been taught now in our country that they need to hate themselves that they need to feel guilty for their privilege and that they are inferior to other races therefore they need to make fun of themselves and hate themselves so not only do many other groups of people in america and in the western world hate white people Many white people hate white people, specifically liberals. Now, obviously, if a white person made a TikTok like this targeting any other race of people, it would immediately be taken down. They would immediately be permanently banned from TikTok. They would immediately be canceled. They would immediately be harassed and blackmailed and criticized and ridiculed and kicked out of university and fired from their job. But it doesn't seem to work the other way around. People of color are allowed to target white people and be racist toward white people anytime they feel like it, any way they feel like it. And not only is it not criticized, it is celebrated. And something else that is very disturbing is me saying what I'm saying right now in this video. A lot of people would view this, what I'm saying, and literally call it a conspiracy theory or label me as some sort of extremist when it is literally just the plain truth. Look around, observe the society that we live in, and tell me I'm lying. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and like and subscribe to my channel and be on the lookout. There's a lot more videos coming very soon.